Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I am going to show you how to clean your scan and cut mats. And then I'm going to show you how you can restick them when it becomes necessary to do so. So you can use this method on any of the scan and cut mats to clean them and to restick them. You can use it on the standard tag mat. That's what I'm going to be showing you today. It also works on the 12 by 24 mats as well as the low tech mat. And you could try it on the super, super sticky fabric mat. Not sure it'll, my restick method will get it sticky enough for that mat, but you could definitely try it. Now, cleaning the mats using my method is sort of the standard way to do it. So it should be fine and not affect your machine at all. Doing the restick method may void your warranty. So be aware of that and <laughs> proceed with caution. If your machine is less, you've had it for less than a year, then your warranty is still in place. So you might want to wait on the restick method until after your war warranty has uh, expired. Okay, so let's get to how to clean your dirty mats. Okay, so I'm here at my kitchen sink. I have got my scan and cut mat. This is my standard tack mat. So I'm using a sponge. It's just a standard household sponge. It has sort of a light scrubby side and then a regular sponge side. I have some Dawn liquid dish soap on my on my sponge. It doesn't have to be Dawn, but some kind of mild like dish soap, hand soap will work just fine. And basically I'm going to get the entire mat wet. I'm going to soak up my sponge and then I'm just going to lightly scrub over my mat. Don't worry, it's not going to pull off the adhesive. And really, even if it does, we're going to restick it anyway if we need to, so it won't really matter. I've got some spots where I might scrub a little bit more because it looks like I got some material stuck on there. But it's a pretty simple process overall. Okay, and once you've kind of soaked the entire surface and gone over it lightly, kind of scrubbed at it a little bit, not too hard, you just rinse it off. And once it's rinsed off, all you gotta do is let it air dry. So you could set it on your counter, you could set it on top of a couple glasses, so it'll get air to both sides if you want. You can hang it up if you have the ability to do that, however you wanna do it. Just let it air dry, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've got two mats here. Um, I washed, I cleaned both of them in the sink using the same method that you just saw. Now, this one is actually pretty good pretty sticky. This one, not so much. And you can see this one's a lot dirtier and I couldn't get any of that off. So that's just the way this mat is going to be from now on. But because this one is pretty sticky after it's dried, that's all I have to do for this one. Like I don't have to restick it yet because it's pretty good to go because this is a relatively newish mat. So I'm going to just put this, I'm going to cover it with its sheet and I'm just gonna put it away for my next use. This one, however, I do need to restick. So how do you do that? Well, the zig to a glue pen is the key and it needs to be like the chisel, the wide, you can see like the applicator is wide. I think this is, I think it's called the chisel tip. So the thing about two-way glue pens, if you don't know, is that when it's wet, it's a permanent adhesive, but if you let it dry, it becomes a temporary adhesive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape around the mat, then we're gonna cover the sticky part or what's supposed to be the sticky part with the Zig two-way glue pen. Now it's blue when you first put it down and then it turns clear when it's totally dry. So it's easy to tell when it's dry. And I'm just gonna let it completely dry and then I can reuse the mat. 
And that's all there is to it. So let's go, let's do it. So I've got blue painters tape for this. Um, you could use washi tape, you know, whatever you've got. And I'm gonna tape right up, right along the black edge because I don't wanna get glue on those black uh, bars. And you definitely don't wanna get glue over any of these black um, dots down here at the bottom because that's what helps your machine read the mat when you load it in. So I just kind of press down on the chisel tip to make sure glue is coming out, which it is. It'd be hard to see, but there is glue there. There, maybe you can tell there. And I'm just gonna run this back and forth over the mat. And you can see that I'm going over the edges of the tape. You can hopefully see the blue liquid as it's coming out. Some pretty decent lighting for this is good because it helps you see, you can kind of look at the reflection of the glue on the mat to tell whether you've covered the entire surface or not. Now I'll hold this up in the light just to make sure that I got glue everywhere I need it. It looks pretty good. I'm a little, I think, dry right in through here. But it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's, it's dried. I can tell because, I mean, it's sticky, but if we look at it kind of in the light, there aren't any like wet spots. It's just more like shiny. So I'm gonna just pull off the tape. Okay, so my mat is good to go. I can just put the cover sheet on it and I can just reuse this and reuse this until it loses its stick again and I just have to repeat the process all over again. Now, a couple things to think about for the different kinds of mats that Scan and Cut has. So for a light tack adhesive mat, what I would do is once you have applied one coat to the mat, I would check it with like a little piece of say like copy paper just check it in the corner and see if it if it peels off now if it peel if it if it's, it takes a little bit to peel it off then it's probably about right for standard tack but that's probably too sticky for a light tack mat in that case you should take a t-shirt like a say like a white cotton t-shirt press it over, just lightly press it on the mat, peel it away. That'll take some of the stick off and that'll turn it into more of a light tack mat. If you wanted to restick like a really sticky mat, like the fabric mat, for example, which is so sticky as to be, I don't know, ridiculous. <laughs> then I would suggest once the first coat has dried, you should apply a second coat on top of that and let that dry and then check it with like a little, little piece of fabric or something to see is that sticky enough and if it's not you could apply a third coat if three coats is about all you can do after that i would say that's about as sticky as it can get using this method if you need it even stickier than that you may just have to replace the mat unfortunately or get those um, adhesive sheets that they sell separately that you can just lay over over the mat so I hope that helps you clean and restick your scan and cut mats so you can reuse them over and over again. If you got something out of the video, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. That helps me out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm, it helps promote my channel. These videos do take a number of hours to put together, so I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And if you're interested, hey, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? I would love that too. Thank you guys so, so much. Have a great day.